Well, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. Uh, today we're going to do a new project. This one's going to be a sun catcher, and it's going to be a little different than some of the other ones we've done. This one here is going to have a free hanging crystal in the center of it. So we need to come up with uh, some kind of a border to put on it, and we've decided we're going to make a circle, uh, and we'll put the uh, crystal inside the crystal, inside the, the uh, circle, and it will hang from there, and it'll be free floating. So anyway, to do that, a couple of tricks here that I've come over for the last few years. I'll show you how we're going to do this. Uh, about 25 years ago, I made this ruler right here. It's just a real inexpensive plastic ruler. And I took and I drilled a series of holes all the way across it. Uh, most of them spaced at a quarter of an inch apart. Uh, and right here at the center here, this is at the start of the one inch area. And what I do with this, I use this in place of a compass because uh, for some reason, um, uh, I got on a uh, deal where I was building everything in a circle and I wanted to be able to make big circles. So this one here will make up to a 24 inch circle in diameter. So uh, it works out quite well. I'll show you how we're gonna use it. And then we've got a 45 degree triangle and then we have our little T-square here. We've got a ruler and a few other things here. So we'll move this stuff out of the way and we're gonna show you how we're gonna do this. So. Uh, this is my drawing board here. You guys seen me use this before. You probably wonder why I don't get a better drawing board. This one works great. Uh, to make this work, we're going to use a push pin right in the end of it. And to make that work, you turn this board over and I have drilled right here a 16th inch hole. All I have to do is push this through from the backside and punch a hole through my paper. And this will show me where, right here, where my push, uh, my pin is. And so from there, I just take my ruler, set it right here, take my push pin, push it in here, I have a little tool, I push it down tight. And the first inner circle we make for this project is going to be five inches. So we need to be two and a half inches. So we're going to go from here. We're going to go right here's two. And there's a half. That'll make five inches. And we just put this like this. So that makes our first inner circle. Then I'm going to do a half inch, three quarter to seven eighths inch, and another half inch out here. So the half inch one, we're just going to go out to a half an inch here. Then we're going to go out here to our three-quarter mark. Then we're going to come out here to another half inch. And we'll go right here. So that makes our perfect circles right there. So you just pull that up. And now to divide these pieces into something that we can work with, just take your T-square here, and we're just going to go right down here, and we're going to go right down here. That gets them into fours, and then we take a 45-degree triangle, move it up here. And this is going to get us into some working pieces that we can work with, just like that. Come down below here and we'll do the same thing. So that makes our circle right perfect the way we want it. So now we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to have eight sections in this in this project. This center one right here, because I'm not going to run these all straight up and down. This center one right here, when we get ready to put this together, we're going to rotate that so that this mark here ends up here in the middle. Because I don't like to run them all together, and it also helps give it the more strength. Uh, for the two outer borders, we're going to use this rippled iridescent glass. Uh, 
You notice I've got it. You probably followed on my, some of the other videos. I'm big into following the grain of the glass here. This one here is going to be a little tricky because uh, going around these outer edges here, we're going to want to try to keep the grain going the same way. It uh, wastes a little bit of glass, but it gives a good effect. Uh, if you don't want to do that and you're going to try to save glass, what will happen is you start off here with some of them going up and up, and then they go start to go sideways as they go around. So we're going to make them all go down up and down as we go around. And in the center for this one right here, I've got this pretty variegated piece of glass. It's blue. It's got some purple swirls in it. Uh, in the sunlight, it looks very pretty. So we're going to go ahead and we'll cut this inner circle for that one. And uh, we'll go from there. So from here, going to go offline real quick and I'll get set up and we'll just go ahead and we'll show you how we're going to make a pattern of this. Uh, if I was doing this for myself without trying to show you this drawing, I would have had my pattern paper underneath this and drawn it all at the same time. But for show and tell here, uh, I want to uh, show you how we came up with this idea and then where we're going to go. So our uh, glass crystal that we're going to hang in here is about three inches long or three and a half. So that's going to give us an up and down about an inch left over. So it should have a nice free hanging right in this area here. We'll put a little hanger right here at the top so we can put our hang our crystal. Out here here and over here uh, we'll put a hanger so we can put a chain on it so we can hang it up. So uh, this will be a fun project and uh, one that you might want to give a try. So we'll be back in a minute. I'll get out some things. We're going to need some uh, pattern paper. I'm just using a manila folder. And we're also going to uh, need some uh, carbon paper because we want to transfer it to our pattern. And uh, so I'll be back in a second. We'll get those picked up. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. All right, we're back. We've rounded up our needed project. This is our carbon paper. If you're not familiar with it, it's got carbon coating on this side. This is the side that, uh, uh, this will be the side that you want going down to your pattern. If you do it the, if you do it upside down, it'll just copy it to the back of this sheet here. And so in order to do this, I've got my, uh, this is just a regular manila folder. And I've got this, remember we take this across the top to hinge it. So I can take and pick this up now. And I can set this right in here. And I'll move it over just a little bit so it doesn't move on me. I'm going to tape it down just a little real quick. Tape it down here. And then I'm going to take my carbon paper and I'm going to lay it in here just like this. I'm using two sheets. They're going to just lap them over because one of them is not big enough to do the whole thing. Just like that. So that's how we're going to do that. Now, we're going to take, take this back down right here just a little bit. You don't have to be, it's going to be taped down for life. Like I said, if I was just doing this to build on my, my own, rather than try to show you how to do this, I would have done made this sandwich up and just drawn the whole thing right on there to start with. But uh, since I wanted to show you how we came about getting this, uh, this layout. Okay, so now we're going to take our uh, ruler. We're going to put it back in here. We're going to take and line it up. Get it in there. Push it down. Okay, and now we're going to take here again, we'll just take our pencil in here, here again, get our five inch mark, get everything out of the way here. And we're just pushing down on this, which will push through the pattern. And we'll transfer this from the carbon paper onto our pattern material or our manila folder in this case. Now you can make this circle any size you want. You can make it 
You could put more rings on it or less rings, whatever, whatever uh, suits your fancy. Okay, so we'll pull that apart. Now, since I've left this hanging low here, I'm going to come up here on the top with my, my T-square. And I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to show the division for these, for these uh, areas right here. I can actually do that without the T-square, so I'll get me another roller here. So I'm just going to take and stick this on here like this. Now for this, I don't need to go all the way to the center here. I'm just going to go here. This will be our, our break for our parts of our circle. Okay, so we're just going to go right around each of these. So we want to draw this. And when you do this, push down on your on your pencil uh, fairly hard so that be sure to, that it goes through the uh, the carbon paper onto your pattern paper. Because if you don't, uh, you're going to end up with some problems. Okay, so there's a couple of things we're going to do now is that uh, we haven't done this in the past because we primarily really haven't used any patterns. We've been using my stack and cut idea. We're going to number these pieces. And so this will be number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll come back here. So we want to do this for a reason, because uh, when we get ready to put these together, we want them to be in the right order. So we're going to have 24 pieces in this border. Now, one other thing we're going to do now before we before we uh, take this apart, and I'm going to take a, a one inch wide ruler, and I'm going to come in here with like this, because I said I want these to all run the same way. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take and I'm going to draw a little bitty line here, one here, one here. One here, one here. Then I'm going to move this out again. Like I said, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, because it does, it does use up quite a bit of glass to do it this way, because you have to keep moving it around to get this to work. Okay, and then we're going to come back over here. We're going to do the same thing on this side here. What we're going to do with this, this is going to show me the direction when I get ready to cut this. So I will put this on my glass to match the lines on my glass. If you don't do that, you're kind of guessing whether you got the angle just right or not. So by doing this, you can line it up perfect on the glass. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'll just come in here and I'll, I'll go offline to do this, but I'm going to put some little arrows right here. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So you see, we've got, everybody's got a directional arrow on it. No, so we know how, where to put these pieces of glass. So now we're going to just undo our sandwich here. We'll take this apart, just on tape this. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take and uh, Take our pattern piece out here. It's always one that has to be stubborn here. So we're going to move our 
paper back here. We'll take our carbon paper out. And here's our pattern. Now, since we're free building this, we don't have any place for this to go. Normally you would use shears to cut this out and you'd use lead shears to allow for the gap in here. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna take a regular pair of scissors, cut all these pieces out, and we're gonna cut them right to what these sizes are right here. So this will grow just a little bit because as we, as we put our lead came in here, it'll grow out a little bit. But uh, no use going to trouble of using your, your pattern shears to cut that out. So uh, we'll come back here in a minute and we'll get ready to set up and uh, get ready to cut some pieces and we'll put this one together. All right, we're back. We got our patterns all cut. Uh, I put them in a little envelope so we know who's who. This is the inside circle. We've got one for the center circle. And then we've got one for the outside circle. So I just laid them on our drawing here for our pattern that we're going to build on. I want to show you how they're going to go. This one here in the middle, this is going to be the colored one. Uh, we're going to stagger it like we've I've got it set in here. So we'll have to readjust our arrows a little bit to make sure that they're going straight up and down, not off the side. Because when we drew it, we, we just lined it up with these here. Uh, I don't want to have all these joints go together here, so uh, we'll take care of that. Our little hanger that we're going to put in here. We're going to make that kind of like we do for the hangers here. We're going to use this little tiny cotter pin. This is a sixteenth of an inch by three quarter inch long. It'll go in. It'll go in here to create a little loop, and we'll take the arms of it and bend it down behind the uh, U cane that's going to go around the inside here. So that'll be that'll be the hanger for our to hang our crystal with. And of course, on the outside here and here, we're going to go back to our our 332nd cotter pins, which are an inch and a half. They're steel, zinc plated. And uh, we'll put those, they'll go underneath the, the U came on the outside edges. So uh, we'll get uh, ready to cut some glass. So we'll go offline and we'll cut some glass. We're gonna start on the inside here. So we'll, we'll, we'll build all of these together. And uh, then we're actually gonna put the uh, U came around the inside with our hanger. And then we'll put the first row of H came around and then we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll start to put our rest of the glass in. So after I get the inside cut here, we'll show you how we're going to wrap this inside here. Uh, it gets a little bit tricky, uh, but um, uh, we'll show you how we're going to do it. I almost considered taking these two pieces and put keeping them together as a, as a single piece um, to just change the, the way this looks. And then I thought, well, we'll just stay with our original plan for this one. Uh, if we uh, if we think it's a little too crowded looking with uh, so many joints in it, uh, we'll make another one later and uh, we'll make some of these uh, stay uh, uh, together. But right now we'll follow the original plan here. So these are going to be on the iridescent clear. These guys here. And the middle one here is going to be in that uh, bluish swirl glass with the purple. So I'll go offline. I'll cut all of these guys up right around here. Remember, we're going to line the, uh, remember we got our, we got our lines on our glass. So when we're going to put this, when we're going to put this in here, when we, get, when we're going to stick it on here to cut it, we'll set it in here like this. So that the arrows are matching our up and down so that when we start to build around here, this is going to be up and then it's going to start to fall away and this will be all up, up and then this will start to come back here. So, uh, like I said before, you don't have to do that. Uh, this just makes it look a little bit nicer to have everybody going the same direction. That's the old story. You got some going this way and you turn some of them this way, you're going to notice it when you hang it up. So, uh, we'll, we'll uh, go offline. I'm going to cut all these pieces real quick. And then when we come back in, we'll have them set in here. And then we'll go ahead and we'll show you how we're going to lead this up along with our little tiny uh, hanger right here for our crystal. Okay, so we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I want to jump back in here real quick. I'm going to just show you this. So <clears throat> here's our pattern pieces. I've just used some uh, glue stick to put them down to our glass because it's not going to uh, take a lot to keep them down. Um, now, I want to explain this to you because since this circle is completely exactly the same on both sides, uh, I did not turn this pattern over even though we're cutting on the back side of the glass or the smooth glass. 
Normally now, if you were making a design that had a, a, a odd curl or that piece would only go in one place, you would have to take this, this part, uh, pattern piece right here and turn it over because you're cutting on the back side. But since we're not, uh, all we have to do is go ahead and cut all these pieces up and they'll, instead of like seven, instead of, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, instead of seven going here, it's going to go over here. So, but it'll still be running the right direction. So anyway, I just want to explain that to you so you'd, you know what I did here. Uh, if you don't, uh, if you, uh, if you don't turn it over and it's, and it's not an equal circle, then, uh, then it's going to be backwards. So you can't do that. But in our case, it is. So I just wanted to explain that. So we'll go ahead and cut these all up. We'll put them on a grinder. We'll match up to the uh, to the edges, and then we're going to show you how we're going to. We're, we'll go ahead and start. We'll lead we'll lead the inside of this and pin it real good. Then we'll just take and build out from it. So anyway, we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. We got all our little uh, inside pieces cut now. So they came out nice. I just cut them against the pattern and just took and ground them on the grinder back to match it. So now the project we're going to need to put in our you came in here with our hanger and I've made one up right here so this is what it's going to look like right here and our hanger is going to go right in here like this so when this comes together we'll have our little hanger coming down just like that but uh, I just didn't want to leave it kind of like well you have to make you're on your own to figure out how to do this so the best way to do this is uh, uh, this happens to be five inches across here and if you check in your garden you might have a flower pot uh, that happens to be exactly five inches which this one is so uh, take it and take a piece of string Go around the outside edge here. Just take it like this. Go around the outside edge here. Whoop. Let's try it this way. Go around the outside edge here and let it go by about a half an inch beyond where you're at. And that'll tell you how long a piece of U came you're going to need. So I've got one here. I think it's going to be long enough. Let's put our string on it and see. Yeah, it's a it's about an inch and a quarter longer. So what you do with this is you take. I'll move these guys out of the way here so we can try to show you this. This is this is the only tricky part of this whole project here. Turn this upside down, and then take your you came here. Remember, we're going to build inside this, so the U came is going to be facing in. So take it and make it go around. And as you start to as you start to make it go, if it feels like it's going to get away from your, you feel like it's going to get away from your uh, planter, your little your little ceramic planter here. Take and pin it as you go along. And then when you get it to a certain degree here, after you get it to about here, then just take and you push it on around. Just come on around with it. Now keep pinning it here. Come on around. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to come all the way around here. And I'm going to pin it here. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring this side on around too. And I'm just going to go up over the top of this bottom one here and go on around and push that in. I'm going to put it, put a pin up here. And that'll give you your initial shape. Push it in tight so you got a good feel for it here. And that makes a nice smooth inner circle here. So from here, take your pins out. Take your planter out here. Bring it in here. Come up here. 
just let this come across here and then kind of mark it where it, when it comes to your five inch line here. Mark it right here and mark it right here. Now, don't get too carried away here. Cut it a little bit long to start with so that so that you uh, you can make it work itself back in. So I'm just going to take I'm going to cut it on this line right here. And I'm going to turn around and cut it on this line right here. Then I'm going to bring this around like that. See, it's still too long. I come around. It needs to be cut off about a quarter of an inch right here. So this takes a little bit of playing around with to get this exactly where you want it. We want it to quit right here though, because that's where our hanger is going to be. If I put it together right here now, you'll see down below here, see it's, it's too big because it's way below our line here. So I'm going to push it up here a little bit. Still needs to be about a quarter of an inch more. So here, you just don't want to cut it too short right off the bat, and then you're going to start over. You got to start all over. So, just be careful with it as you start to bend it. If you want to, you can do this also. Put it, put it right here where you want it. Take some pins like this. Pin it. Come around where your line is. You can see it. It's on the inside right here. Come around your line, pull it in here, pin it, come on around the line, come down here, there you go, that's what we're looking for right there. So that gives us a nice... Uh, round. This has got just a little bit of a funny little kink right here. We'll take and fix that. I'll show you what we're going to do. So that seems to be about the right length for us. We can take our grosing pliers. That's these that have no teeth on them. So they won't mark the came up. And just very lightly here, straighten this up a little bit because it's kinked down a little bit too much. So when this comes together... This will make a good joint right here. Okay, I'm going to trim this just a little bit on an angle right here. So it comes together, it looks like that. So we got it right there. And then, like we've done on the other, other ones, take your dikes and come in here and just put a little bit of a notch here and here. Here and here. Get up here where you can see it. Just like that. This is really the only tricky part of this whole project. Don't do that though. Kind of bend it out of the way. That's not too good. Okay, so that means this will be here again. This will be where our little hanger is going to go. It's going to go in here like this. And it's going to go inside here like that. So that'll go together just like that. And that'll give us our hanger. So I'll, I'll come up here close. I don't know if it'll get blurry or not. So you can see right here, that's our little hanger. So that'll come in here and that'll put this together. So anyway, that's how this is going to go together. So what I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and uh, set it back in here. Get it all pinned up. This one here needs to be fixed a little bit right here too. This is one of these things where you can kind of fool around with it until you get it smooth like you like it. Put this one on here and make sure it needs to come around here just a little bit more. Here we go. All right. 
So we'll go ahead and get this set in here with our hanger, and then we'll come back and we'll show you how we're going to put our glass in here, and then we're going to go ahead and start to build out. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, I set this back in here. I got it pinned now. You notice I put uh, the pins right here where we're going to have a joint right here. So the right now, so we'll put our first piece of glass in here. And so that's going to be this one right here. So this is going to sit in here like this. And it's going to be lined up. But remember, we've got our little cotter pin right here. So this back side right here, we need to grind that back just a little bit because here again, our cotter pin is going to push this out and it'll make it be too tall here. So I'll go offline. I'm going to grind this one and these two that go together here. We'll grind those back so that it doesn't interfere with our cotter pin, which is making our, which is making our little hanger right here. So I'm going to pull this down, put a pin in it so it doesn't get away. Okay, so I'll come back, I'll grind those back, and then we'll come back and put them in there. Okay, I'm back real quick. We took and ground that back in here just a little bit on both of these. So anyway, they're going to move this one out of the way just a little bit. They're going to fit in here like this. It's just going to fit in here like this. We're going to run our get a couple of pins here and get a little bit of a little piece here. I'm going to take a little piece of junk H cam right here and stick it in here. Okay. Just want to use this to hold this in here. Because when you first get started here, we got lots of pieces that want to move everywhere but where you want them to go. So now we need to cut just a little bitty bit of H came right here. So I just take a little one here and just take my dikes here. I'm going to put it in here like that. I'm going to measure it here. This is the hardest one to put in right here because it's got the hanger on it and it's got the inside curve. So that makes it a little bit tricky. Now, we want to be sure that this H came is lined up right here on this line here because that's going to be the whole tip off to make this thing look like it's straight. Okay, we'll move this on around now. Pull that in until it's trapped. Move this around just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Right there. Okay. If you ever want to secure an area like this, just while you're working on it, just take a little piece of your H came right here. And just take and stick it in here like this and pin it. That way you, that way you know that you've got it where you want it. There you go. All right, so I'll go offline and I'll put all the rest of them around here with our, with our little H cam. And then we're going to come back and we'll put another H cam around here. And then we'll be ready to put our blue ones in here. So this is going to be real, real uh, pretty. So, uh, and remember, our, our uh, crystal is going to be hanging in the middle here. So it should look really, very nice. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. We'll get the rest of these put on here. And uh, then we'll move on with the video. All right, we're back. we got everything all buttoned up here now. So uh, we got all our pieces in. we got all our little H came in here. And we've got it re-wrapped with our H came around. So now we're ready to put in our blue uh, pieces in here. And uh, 
we're going to stagger those a little bit different from where our drawing's at. So we'll have to remark those for, like this number nine is going to really go over here, which means that it's going to be moved down. So we'll have to uh, redraw to make sure that it, it's running straight on our glass. So this came out real nice. I know this is a little complicated right in this area here to get our hanger in here and get all these pieces together. Uh, so uh, remember, it's not a race. So if you're if you're having trouble with it, uh, just take your time to get it to fit in there the way you want it. Uh, the more time you take on it, the better it's going to look. Uh, sometimes uh, if you're having a little bit of trouble with it, just maybe walk away for a little while and come back and uh, uh, it'll help you out. Because I know sometimes this gets really confusing here, trying to get this all in here. Because this is basically going backwards from whatever whenever you do it before, but you want it to be smooth on the inside so it looks finished. You don't want to run another piece of uh, H came around here and it'll be open with the H side here. So you want to do it with the uh, U came going backwards. So it gets a little bit complicated. Our, uh, our little hanger is right underneath this pin right here. I have it pulled out there and pinned straight right on our up and down line here so that, that uh, it'll be straight. So when we hang our crystal in here, It'll be in the middle of our of our circle here. So anyway, uh, we'll go offline now and we'll go ahead and, and we'll cut up our blue pieces. And then from there, we'll go ahead and put them in. If you notice here, it's already starting to grow beyond uh, where we were because uh, the blue is really going to come out to about here on each side. Uh, the reason for that is each piece of came creates more and more room as you move out. That's why we started in the middle here. So we don't, we, don't, we don't really care where it ends up. If it ends up out here at a quarter inch bigger than our drawing, I don't really care. I just wanted to get it uh, started in the middle and then we'll let it come out. So that's the, that's the beauty of building something that uh, has uh, basically no frame or, or size restriction on it. You can just do whatever you want to with it. And uh, say, for instance, we got out to here and you said, wow, that's coming out pretty good. Maybe we'll put another border around it. You could just go ahead and keep adding to it or whatever you wanted to do. I didn't want to overpower our crystal here. So that's why I've kept these fairly small as far as the sizes go. Uh, that's what I said before, too. We, I, I looked at the drawing. I thought maybe maybe we'd eliminate these pieces and make this all one piece here. Uh, they'd be more difficult to cut, but uh, it would make it uh, a little more uh, dainty looking so uh, <clears throat> we'll see more when we get our when we get our crystal and and put it in here we'll get a feel for uh, how this is going to come out so we'll be back on the next video we'll have our blue ready to go in here and uh, I'll put some of them in and show you how they're going to go in and then we'll go offline and finish that up then we'll wrap that in H came then we'll come back and we'll put our finer iridescent, iridescent glass around the outside with our two hangers here and uh, then we'll be done with it. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, I want to jump back in here real quick because I didn't want you guys to think your eyes are playing tricks. Uh, when we started the video, we talked about using a the blue with the purple variegated the glass. And uh, I showed that to a couple people and they said, yeah, I like this one better. So this is the one we went with right here. This is a brighter blue. Uh, it's a rippled glass. And uh, so... Uh, uh, this is the one we went with uh, for our, our blue circle around our, our project. So if you're confused when you see uh, when you see the rest of the video, you'll know that's why. I just wanted to explain that because uh, uh, the other one got outvoted. So this is the one that we ended up using. And uh, so uh, we'll come back and uh, get it cut up and we'll uh, uh, get ready to finish up the project. All right, we're back. We got our blue all cut and put in here now. We got it all spaced away. Uh, we staggered between these two here. This one out here will line up with this one when we get out here. So now we're going to wrap this with our H came. And uh, we're going to start at one of these joints right here. And we're going to go on around it. Uh, you could do this in two pieces if you wanted to. You could start here, go up to here, and then come here and come back around to here. Uh, we're going to do it in one and uh, show you how we're going to get started here. Well, we'll start right here with this one right here. And you want to get started on a on one of your joints right here because we want this, uh, we'll go ahead and cut that flat first. We want this to be at one of our seams. So when we solder it, we will 
we will already, I'm going to take and kind of pre-bend this just a little bit so it goes in here easy for me. So when we set it in here, when we solder this, you'll hide that joint right there. So I'm going to take and I'm going to pin this right here. And then I'm just going to take and move this around. Take out our little block that's holding this here. Come around here, make sure you get it, get it up underneath here. And when you get to the where there's a cross piece here, take and pin it again. This one here has come out right here. There we go. Okay, doke. Okay, there you go. Sometimes they move a little bit on you, so just take your time and push them in here. Keep moving it around, push it in tight as you go along. Make sure your work table is clean enough so you can keep this tag in or the tail end of your of your H came so it doesn't get hooked up on a bunch of stuff. Okay, it's coming out around. Gotta get some stuff out of the way there after I told you to make sure your area is clean. Okay, take and tag it or pin it. Get this one out of here. Come on around. Pin it. Get this one out of the way. Move this one here. Come on around. Now, when you get ready to come around the around this, in order to figure out how long to make this piece that came here. Uh, here you can, again, you can use that string method we used earlier, uh, or just take a piece. Uh, you the H, I mean, you use uh, the string we use. The H came. Uh, if you if you have little pieces left over, don't get too panicky because you can always find a home for them on one of your projects. So, so if I have like I'm going to have a four inches here left, so I'd rather have enough than start off short and then have to try to piece it together. So now here's where the trick comes. We want to cut this, but we want to cut it so that it's as close to matching this one as possible. So I'm going to get my dikes in here on the angle. Okay, so that's a little bit too long, but not by much. There we go, right there, just like that. Push that in, okay. We can get our uh, little tool here that we use to spread the lead with and we can take and we can run it around here and take and push it in right there, just like that. Make it nice and tight so we got a good tight fit. We'll take and we'll pin it. So now we're all set to go here. You can run this around here if you want to and help smooth that out if you find an area that you don't you don't think is quite as smooth as you'd like it. This came out pretty nice. Uh, uh, the better you cut the glass, the smoother your circles come. So uh, take some time grinding your glass so it all comes back nice and even. And uh, from there, we're going to go ahead and we'll get all of our pattern pieces out for our outside edge. And we're going to go ahead and we'll cut all those and then we'll come back and uh, we'll get ready to uh, solder it all up. We'll put our hangers in here and uh, we'll be uh, pretty much done with the project. We have to hang our crystal in here and uh, then we'll come back and uh, finish the project up. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. We got all of our outside glass done now. So now we need to wrap this and you came all the way around. But before we do that, right here and right here, we're going to put a, our hangers in here. And uh, we're going to make the hangers here again out of our cotter pins, our 
three thirty second by an inch and a half cotter pin. And what we're going to do, we're going to do like we've done before. I'll show you one more time in case you just happen to turn into this video and haven't looked at some of the other ones. We're going to take this. We're going to take our little brass tubing, three thirty seconds across the opening. We're going to put it on our legs here. And we're going to open it up. We're going to turn it over. And we're going to open it up here. So that's going to make our hanger there. Now, this is a little different than if it was straight because we're coming around this area here. So we're going to have to take it and we're going to have to kind of form it like that. I'm going to just take and bend it. And it'll sit in here like this. That's too much right there. But we don't need it quite this long right here. So we're going to take our long nose pliers and uh, we're going to cut off about a quarter of an inch on each side here. So we'll get this down a little bit easier to manage size. Okay, so I'll just take and just hold it here and just pull this back just a little bit. So it's going to sit in here like here. And we're going to put it right on this cross piece right here. So we'll do that again. Take your long nose pliers, stick it in here, pull it out, turn it over, pull it out. I'm going to cut the quarter inch off each end. Then I'm just going to hold it here and I'm just going to take and in my fingers, I'm just going to kind of bend it down like that. Did that one too far again. Okay, so now if you follow along on the other videos, we need some way to hide this area right here. It's going to be behind the cane, but it's going to be on top of this. So we're going to have to pull these pieces out. I've marked them here. We're going to grind them back a little bit about the depth of this arm right here. So I'll go offline and, and grind those back and then we'll put them back on here. And then uh, we'll do a final fit on these going up into there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll put our u came around. Our u came is going to start here. It's going to go all the way around to here and it's going to stop. And uh, we'll take and cut a small notch in the u came, And then on the other side here, we're going to notch a piece of u came. It's going to go around the top to here. And then when we solder them, it'll all look like one piece. So uh, we'll be back in a second. We'll go ahead and grind these back. And uh, then we'll get ready to wrap that up. All right, we're back here. As you can see here, I've ground this back in here, right here to right here. And I've shaped our cotter pin or a hanger to lay right in here on top of this so it'll be nice and flat. So these are our two hangers here now. So now to wrap this we're going to start right here but we're going to take our U came here and we're going to cut a notch in it just like we would do if we were making a solar lantern or something like that. So we're going to come in here and we're going to cut a little notch in here. And we'll take and pull that out. And we're going to take this and we're going to kind of pre-bend it just a little bit. Just to get started here. Okay, just lay that on here. Now we're going to take this pin here out. We're not going to put our cotter pin in quite yet. We're going to take this out. And we're going to take this and we're going to set it right here. We'll lift this up and we're going to put this right in the middle of this down piece. And from there, we're going to take and we're going to slide in our hanger. We'll slide it down inside here. Sometimes this takes a little bit of fooling around with it to get it to go in here. 
There we go. Just like that. We want this to be touching. We want it to split the difference right there. We're going to take and put a pin in it right here. And then we're going to take this and we're going to push it down nice and tight against this. And then we'll start to pull out our pieces here as we come on around. And as we come around, start to take and get your pins out and start to pin it here so it doesn't get away from you. Make sure you get it lifted up so you got it where you want it. Keep pushing in on it because you don't want it to pull away from your from your glass and you don't get a nice smooth circle on it. Okay, so now we're going to come back around. We'll move that one out of the way, get our stuff out of the way here. I determined how long to make this U came using my string again. I just went around the outside edge with my string and I added a couple inches to it just to be sure that I didn't come up short. Okay, bring it around here, right there. Okay, if you want to, you can take a little block of wood, push this around, be sure that it's up there tight where you want it. And we'll take and we'll pin it. Okay, so now we'll mark this and we're going to cut it. I'll pull this one out here and this one. I'm going to pull this back away. I'm going to take and cut this. Right there. Now I'm going to go off camera just for a second because I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to cut this V. I'm not going to lift this up, but I'm going to be in front of the picture here because my camera is right here above it. So uh, you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm going to cut a V in here, which will take care of this part of the hanger right here. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I got my little notch cut out. Here it is right here. You can just barely, you can just see it right here. So, but I noticed when I had this, if you look real close right here, see this has just a teeny bit of a kink right here. And I looked at this piece of glass right here. It's got a little high spot right there. So since we haven't done anything, soldered or put this all together yet, I'm going to pull this piece of glass out of here. Just pull this open. And I'm going to take this on my grinder. The high point is right here. So I'm going to just knock that down just a little bit with the, my grinder so that we, uh, we won't have a little... Uh, step up in there. All right, didn't take very much to get that off there. So we'll put this back in here now. There, that looks better. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna take this hanger here, we're gonna slide it down inside here. Let's go down just like that. And then we're going to go here.
Well, I'm back. Uh, I had all the segments for our video shot, and uh, I found that, unfortunately, I forgot to turn the camera on for this one where we're going to put the U came between here and here with the hangers in here. So I just cut some glass real quick and pinned this all in here. So I want to show you that because there's a there's a couple little tricks to it. And uh, so first of all, this one and this one is the one we're going to put the uh, our hanger on. So we need to grind those back a little bit. So I'll step away uh, for a minute and grind these back here. So so basically, we'll make room for that hanger by coming in here and taking just a little bit off of this one here and this one here on each side, but not out to this cane, but just a, just enough to compensate for the leg on our cotter pin or our hanger. So I'll, I'll go offline and do that real quick. And then when we come back in, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get this piece in here. So I'll be back in a second. We'll grind those down and we'll be back. All right, so we're almost back to where we are on the uh, the video before I forgot to turn the camera on. So we've ground back these areas here. These are the areas where our legs of our cotter pin are going to go. So this one here will slide in here like this. And we'll take and we'll put our pin in here to hold it. And we're splitting this right here in this area here. This one here uh, on, on, on both of these pieces, you'll cut a V for, the, for part of the... Uh, of the uh, cotter pin to go onto, and I'm just making a partial part of this, so hopefully it's not confusing what I'm doing here. So we're going to put this one here, right here, right in the middle, right there. We're going to take and we're going to pin this. We're going to take this hanger and we're going to set it in here. Sometimes these are a little fussy to get in here. So, there we go. Goes right in there like that. We'll take and we'll pin it real good. Okay, now this piece here, we'll take this one out and we'll take this one out. You can see the leg of the cotter pin now is in this slot area where we've where we've where we've taken we've ground that back, so that'll that'll make this distance here and this distance here approximately the same. So now we take our piece of U came. It's going to go around and we put a notch on both ends. Now this end down here, this is going to be the one where we close this up. It's got a pretty good sized notch in it because we need to go over the head on this this uh, hanger right here. So this will sit in here like this, just like that. And this one here, going to pin this right here. And this one's going to drop right in the top. If you don't put a big enough V cut in here, it can't get over the head of your, uh, of your hanger and you'll have all kinds of trouble with it. So just remember, we're going to solder that closed anyway. So if you get a little bit bigger than you really wanted, don't worry about it. We're going to solder it closed. So that's how that that's how this piece goes in here. Uh, I apologize for not getting it on the uh, on the regular glass because you remember this is the this is the it represents the blue glass. This represents the iridescent uh, glass. So I'm just using this glass for a show and tell. Somebody gave me uh, these ugly colored glasses, so I thought this would be a good chance to use them up. So this will show you how we get our hangers in here. So again, I apologize. Uh, hopefully this wasn't more confusing than than trying to explain what we're doing right here. Uh, if you have one that looks a little bit pushed out here, just take your little block right here and you can just put a shit in here real quick. So anyway, uh, this will help uh, clarify what happened on the video because otherwise it goes from this joint right here, this joint right here, it jumps to the finished product. So now we show you how we got that piece in there. So uh, we'll see you back on the original video and uh, hopefully this was helpful to get you started. Now this is a fairly small project, but we put two hangers on it. And uh, the intention is that uh, this will probably be hung outside. And by having two hangers on it, that'll keep it from twisting so much. Uh, if you put one hanger right here in the middle, right here at the top, uh, 
that would be more than sufficient because this isn't going to weigh that much. The only problem with that is that has a tendency for them to spin around and around and around, and you're not going to get the effect of the crystal when the sun comes through on it. So we're going to hang two of them here. If you were going to just make this for indoors only, where somebody's going to hang it in front of a window, uh, I would say go ahead and just put one right here. Uh, it would be a lot easier than what we've done here with the two. But uh, like I said, our intentions is that this will probably go outside. So we're going to go with two, which gives it more stability. So I'll go offline, uh, get my uh, soldering iron hooked up, and we'll come back and we'll get ready to uh, solder this up. And then we'll be ready to hang our crystal in here, and we'll be pretty much done with it. I don't know if we're going to Pantene this or not. We'll have to... We'll have to take a popular vote on it and see see if they want to pantene it or not. All right, so we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. We're getting ready to solder this up now. Uh, you can see that I've added a couple of little things. I went over here and kind of cleaned up a little bit. This joint right here was just a little bit too long, so I pulled that back out and, and trimmed it just a little bit. It was making it kind of go up around. Uh, we need to solder in these areas right here. So you just take a little piece of your form wood push it up against it so rather than put your pins in here because that way you can get right to the corner where you want to go. So uh, we take a, a stainless steel brush and you brush, you take and brush down your joints. I put liquid flux on these areas. So now we're ready to go ahead and we'll solder this outside ring on there. I'm going to take my iron and put it on a little piece of lead here. Make sure I don't have a heat spike because I don't want to melt my cane. I'm going to tin my iron here a little bit and then I'm going to come right in here and we're going to start right here. We're just going to go right on around here. Then we can come back up here and then we're going to go right here. solder flow out. Here again, I'm just taking about a sixteenth of an inch off of my flow. I want to make this one just a little bit higher, uh, so I'm going to just put my iron on here real quick. Here we go. All right, so that's the outside edges done. Uh, so now I can pull these away. We don't need these anymore. Our project's not going to go anywhere now that we've got it soldered in here. So we take and take all that away. So now I'm going to go offline here real quick and I'll go ahead and solder up the rest of it. And then we'll come back, we'll finish around our hangers and we'll finish around our little hook that we're going to use to hang our, uh, our crystal on. And uh, we'll do both sides of this and then we'll be back. So I'm going to go offline and get that done real quick. Okay, so we got the front side all soldered up. It looks nice for us. So this is what our project's going to look like here. It came out really nice. Uh, so now I'm going to turn it over and I'll do the back side. And then when we come back, we'll show you we're going to fill these corners in here. And we'll come underneath here and we'll fill this one in here. It doesn't really need to be filled in because it's not going to go anywhere. Remember, the legs are going back underneath here. So to get that out wouldn't be a problem. So anyway, we're going to turn it over and we'll come, come back. And uh, we'll take and we'll solder the back side. And uh, then we'll go ahead and finish up here. And then we'll have to make the decision whether we're going to Pantene or not. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back here. We got both sides soldered up now. So check your work real close and make sure we haven't left anybody on soldered. I've been known to do that occasionally. So it's easier to fix it now than it is to come back and, and try to match up your solder while you're uh, uh, working on uh, something else. Okay, uh, here again, if you have one of these little bubbles like that, just take your dikes on a flat side and just take and pull it off like that. You don't want to leave those on there because it doesn't look that great. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to come in here and we're going to solder in our uh, hangers 
And then we're going to turn this upside down and we're going to solder around this little guy. Uh, he really couldn't come out of there because his legs are going back underneath here and it's just going to hold the crystal. But uh, we'll go ahead and finish that up anyway. So like we've done in all the other little videos, we'll get my drill vise out. Bring it in here. I'm going to set this a little bit on an angle. I'll be real careful not to get it too tight here so we don't. And we're going to just take and we're going to put some flux in here on both sides. And here again, like we've done on the other projects, we're just going to tin our iron. I'm just going to hold it right here and let it flow away just like that. take and turn this around leave it on a little bit of an angle so that the solder will flow into it and take this like this tin your iron like that just set it down here and just let it flow away just like that come back around to this one take and flux it up here so when you're cutting these notches to make this all fit together, if you get one that's a little bit big, don't worry about it because basically when you solder it back up, you're going to close it up anyway. So don't get too panicky if you go like with a pretty big notch. All right, and we'll get the last one here. Put a little solder on my iron. Just set it in here and let it flow away, just like that. Okay, so now this little guy here that's upside down, uh, we're just gonna take and we'll flux it a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. Maybe I can, I'll tighten it down here a little bit. I'll put it, put this up on a little block of wood. See if I can do this without knocking it over and breaking it thing before we even get it going. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna just use a very teeny bit of tinning right here. I'm just gonna set it down in here And I'm going to let it solder away. Here again, just a teeny bit. I don't want to be a big gob of solder there. Sit it in here. Let it solder it away. There we go. Just like that. So now that's got our little hanger soldered in there. We've got our big hangers here for our chain. And so now we're ready to go ahead and uh, wash this up and we'll come back and we'll show you what this is going to look like. This little solder joint right here, uh, I don't like the way it looks. It's not, it doesn't have very much of a bead on it. So I think we'll just take and we'll put another little bead right here on top of it. There we go. like that better. So we'll go from there. All right, everything else looks pretty good. So I'll go offline. We'll go ahead and wash this up real good. Here's another one I don't like right here. It's got just a little bit. It doesn't have much of a bead. It's kind of flat. There we go. like that better. So if you look around our project, you'll see that now you can't see any of the seams where we've made all these pieces come together. We made two come together here, two come together here. Uh, over here somewhere is where we started with our H came for this one here. It's behind the seam so you don't see it. So that hides them all. So now this just looks like it's all one piece. So uh, it makes for a nice looking job. Uh, if, you have, if you have a little area here that you think that this looks a little bit low, you can always take a little block of wood here and you can kind of move it away just a little bit. Uh, this all looks pretty darn good for uh, for making a circle with all this this many pieces in it. So we'll go ahead and wash it up. We'll be back and uh, we'll make a decision on what we're going to do with the Pantene. I, I think we might just leave it clean after we get it uh, washed up. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. We got our project all done now. Everything's been all shined up. We have our, our crystal in the center. 
We're hanging it from our little hanger that we put on here to the crystal. We're using a 50 pound monofilament fishing line. And these two little things that you see right here, they're called crush tubes. Uh, you, you slide both ends of the monofilament into it and you take your long nose pliers and you crush them and that's hold it so you don't have to tie any knots or anything in it. It makes it uh, a nice clean mount and uh, they hold super tight so you don't have to worry about this coming out of there. So anyway, uh, we'll go off here. I've got the chain on it here, as you can see. Uh, we'll go offline here and uh, we'll take it outside, hang it out in the sunlight, and uh, we'll take a couple pictures of it and uh, the project will be done. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and uh, hope you'll give it, a, give it a try. All right, we're all done with our video. It came out real nice for us. So this is the project right here. I hope you guys will give it a try. I enjoyed making it. And showing you some of the tips on how to do it make a great gift for christmas or for any time so we'll see you on our next video